So we are going to try and figure out when this is greater than or equal to 14. Now, um, I can't just use my zero property here because it's not compared to zero, it's compared to 14. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, multiply this out and then subtract the 14 to bring, it, to bring it over, get it equal to zero, and then I can do it. So let me do some multiplication. X times X is X squared. 2 times X is 2X. X times negative 3 is negative 3X. Uh, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So greater than or equal to 14. That's a negative x, so x squared minus x minus 6, greater than or equal to 14. Uh, I don't know where that negative came from. Get it out of there. I think I was thinking ahead. So Because now I have to subtract 14 from both sides. I do that, I get x squared minus x minus 20, greater than or equal to 0. I'm going to try to um, uh, factor this. So things that multiply to negative 20 add to negative 1 would be negative 5 and positive 4. And then we'll go from there. Uh, that means 5 and negative 4, those are where my boundaries are at. It's equal to, so they're closed. And then I just need to test some regions. I'll try 0. Let's see, 0 is in between these two. 0 would be like about here. So if I plug 0 in, 0 plus 2, times 0 minus 3. Is that greater than or equal to 14? It's not. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. That's not greater than 14. So 0 doesn't work. So that means this must work and this must work. So x is less than negative 4 or x is greater than oh, or equal to 5. And there's my solution.